Moving on to news from Nepal. Nepali farmers face a shortage of fertilizers during the peak harvest season that could reduce food availability and incomes. But the silver lining is that the Himalayan nation is trying to purchase fertilizers from India through a government to government agreement. On the slopes surrounding Nepal's capital Kathmandu, Gopal Kafle, a farmer, was busy preparing his field to transplant paddy saplings. His was for the time being, have been warded off as he was able to secure a sack of fertilizer before the price shot up owing to the shortage. Nepali farmers have been suffering endlessly due to recurrent shortage of fertilizers ahead of key paddy planting season. With an acute shortage of fertilizers, the harvest for the season could dwindle further, slashing incomes, increasing fear of food shortage and increased inflation. The agricultural sector of the Himalayan nation contributes to about 25% of the national economy, further employing about 60% of the workforce of Nepal. But the broken supply chain of fertilizers and black marketing at the time of need has added on to owes to a slow growth rate and high inflation, leading to possible stagflation. Mahendra Rai Yadav, Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Development, earlier claimed of making efforts to procure fertilizer through a government-to-government -government deal with India after the state trunk companies failed to make timely imports mainly due to high costs. As per the agreement, India has promised to send a shipment of 50,000 tons of urea and 30,000 tons of diammonium phosphate by mid-July as a crisis mitigating measure. As per the Nepal government's official figures, fertilizer price has swelled four to five fold within a year and the government would need more than 70 billion rupees for subsidies to fulfill the farmers' demands. The government had set aside 15 billion rupees to import chemical fertilizer. But at current prices, the money will be barely enough to buy 200,000 tons.